Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews. This time we're digging back into the toy box, my personal toy box from my childhood. And we're going to actually take a look at the X-Force Series 1 Toy Biz cable from way back in 1992. This is actually literally my toy that I had when I was a kid. And uh, yeah, I don't have it in the package here. We can see some of the artwork I'll put up here. And uh, this was something that I got as a kid when certainly X-Men 92, the cartoon series, was popular. And Cable was introduced in that cartoon series, so I definitely grabbed him up. And, uh, and this is him. And uh, I just did the review of the Marvel Legends Cable, so it just felt like fun to uh, kind of take a look at this guy. Um, but looking at him up close here, you can see definitely from back in the day the old paint apps. You know, they weren't anything special. These are toys that were meant to be played with. Very simple articulation. He's got his blaster here that actually spun around. Uh, really weird articulation on this one. Um, this arm only goes up and down like that. Let me get the gun out. So I used to always do that, and he was kind of, that was his punching move. But he's on like this weird little hinge there. And then, of course, he has his action feature for his other arm. You'll hear it kind of click. And he's got his little action switch in the back and a little karate chop action. Um, these guys did not have a ton of articulation. Like I said, they're meant to be played with. He's got the head, the arms we already talked about, uh, up and down, and doesn't really go back at all. And then he's got a knee, and that's pretty much it. He's got the peg holes at the bottom. And, of course, of course the classic uh, Toy Biz, made in China, 1992, right there on the back. And, uh, you know, for the time, cool little head sculpt. You know, you got the glowing eye there. And I can definitely see the uh, similarities, though, um, that hung on with the new Marvel Legends figure. Uh, kind of put them side by side here and uh yeah you can see the inspiration for sure there with the the shoulder pads and everything but yeah i loved uh i loved this figure growing up as a kid um it was definitely cool and you gotta love all those action features uh, from back then yeah but uh yeah looking at some of the other he actually held up pretty well you got some paint chips from me playing with them back in the day, but it's a lot of these paint problems are actually just quality, not necessarily quality control, because again, these were only like, I think, five bucks back then, so they weren't anything special, but yeah, very cool. Uh, gonna try to do some more of these little toy box reviews for you guys here. Um, but uh, let me know what you think of them, if you like seeing some of this old stuff. These are just real quick videos that I want to throw up there uh, just to reminisce and maybe even take a look back at uh, some of the inspiration and how far things have come from the then versus the now. So uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, we'll have some links here for uh, the Marvel Legends cable figure uh, that I did just review. That video should be up now. Uh, other than that, guys... As always, thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.